Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we went to Langley Hall and explored it just a little bit. But this episode, we're going to explore it a heck of a lot more, because I think there's a lot to do here in the endless halls of Langley Hall. Uh, but before I actually get to that, I want to talk about the Wayfair update that I've been talking about that just came out for Sunless Skies. As of this recording, anyway, it came out April 9th, 2019. I almost said 2018. April 9th, 2019, if you happen to be watching this far in the future. And by the time you watch this episode, people watching it in the present, it's probably going to be a couple weeks after that. But it has just come out, and it's made a lot of changes. One is completely reworking Albion and resetting that map, which is the reason I left Albion to explore Eleutheria. But it also does a lot of other things that are going to affect the game just everywhere. So let me actually basically just read the patch notes, at least the, the big changes. So for Albion, I'm just reading this from the Wayfair released update posted to the uh, news section of Sunless Sky on Steam. We fully reworked the game's second region, Albion. It's now significantly smaller than before, while still being a lot more open than the Reach. We've also worked to make the possible encounters more varied. Okay, uh, and Gods of the Sky. In the Wayfair update, the capricious Gods of the Sky will tease torment, and occasionally reward skyfarers. New story events will fire while you're traversing the heavens, granting opportunities to earn the gods' attention or their wrath. Once the gods have noticed you, further, more perilous events may occur. Manage your crew's superstitions, deal with a frost-fingered visitor, negotiate with the whisper winds, at all costs do not call at the empty house. Officer Second Mints, a number of your officers have found new ways to be helpful. If you can bear to bar with them, establish them at a port and let them make themselves useful. Perhaps they will establish an exclusive salon or a handy workshop. You'll have to do without their counsel in the meantime, of course, but officers on second mint may be able to furnish you with story items, advantages at port, or new prospects and bargains. So there's new second mint opportunities for the inconvenient aunt, Incautious Driver, Repentant Devil, Feline Eccentric, Captivating Princess, and Fatalistic Signalman. Uh, there's also Spectacles. The heavens are replete with wonders and horrors. Originally, Skyfarers could only marvel at them and thrill or lament at their effects on your crew's terror. But now, a number of spectacles can be interacted with. Come, approach, disembark, and explore some of the sky's most enigma enigmatic mysteries. Visit the last vestiges of the kingdom of ours. Join the dead in their observances. Excavate the corpse of the silent saint. Critical damage. Sometimes attacks will do more than just damage your hull. They may now trigger story events shortly after the battle. Perhaps you'll suffer damage to your engines or find an unexploded shell lodged in your plating. Fortunately, you can repair critical damage at each region's central station. Usually repairing your engine's hull will sort it out but some damage may require more dedicated treatment. Also mentions Petricor, the food of the dead. Apparently, supplies are no longer sold in the Blue Kingdom, but Petricor, rather. And survival balance adjustments, which basically just to summarize, it sounds like they've generally made the game harder. Terror seems to go up slightly more. You don't lose quite as much terror when discovering new ports or returning to a hub. They produce a number of crew available at hub ports. Yeah, they generally made it a bit more difficult. Okay, I think it's time to fully explore Langley Hall. Or at least as much as we can explore it. So before, I went to a bunch of different rooms, found them, got the keys to them so I can return at any time. Kitchen, the lounge, yellow drawing room, etc. But I couldn't really, for the most part, do anything in the rooms because I need to basically choose this option uh, hang up your coat and hat, basically say that I'm going to be staying here for a while. So let's do that and explore this place more deeply. You'll be able to explore more options in Langley Hall when you've declared your intention to stay a while, but you run the risk of wanting to come back. The hall engenders dreams that weigh like an anchor on the dreamer. A jovial doctor in a toupee, wait, wait, no, that's not toupee. <laughs> that's a color, isn't it? Top? It's pronounced taupe. It means gray with a tinge of brown. He guides you to a hat stand nestled between a vast tower of wigs and a row of pinstriped suits. 
do let me know if you find anything interesting during your stay, he says, so that I can avoid stumbling across it. What, you want to avoid interesting things? I guess that's why they wear something taupe. They like muted colors and nothing interesting. Very milk toast. Let's see what this says. Recover your coat and hat. This will lock options in Langley Hall, but you won't be at risk of staying too long either. Hmm. So maybe it's... Maybe I'm going to have trouble... Like, maybe leaving won't be this simple if I stay here for a long time exploring this place. Maybe I'll, like, lose hearts or something trying to leave because it'll be so hard. Let's return to the kitchen. Glasses of champagne, pasta and bechamel sauce, card games and hot kettles, the gadflies, all-nighters, and perpetual hangers-on. So I've already read this description because we've been in all these rooms. But now I can actually do stuff. Help with the cooking. Takes two supplies. Do they, do they sell supplies here? Yeah, fuel and supplies. So I don't mind doing that then. Only a 24% chance of success, which I guess means that Elizabeth is going to burn all the food that they try to help with. <laughs> like, oh, well, this steak caught on fire. I just dropped this dish all on the ground. Yep, failure. Unhelpful. The cook in the ocelot patterned apron observes, observes you for five minutes before walking away to take an extended cigar break. <laughs> the smoke is easily dealt with and you only lose half of the pans to the flames. Eventually, the sous chef rescues you. Most of your attempt is ejected from a window. What can be rescued is packed into a box and unceremoniously handed to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna eat that. No thanks. <laughs> I gained an uncanny specimen. <laughs> that's, that's what I made in the kitchen that they just handed to me. My food is an uncanny specimen. <laughs> it's, it's akin to a head in a jar. Ah. The warmth of the hall feels like a cozy blanket settled around your shoulder. Outside is cold, inside is safe. Hmm, let's talk to the notorious flirt now before they just completely rejected me without a second glance. What's the matter? Vernon eating your brain? You look like you've never seen a woman before. She practically inhales her whiskey. Gained more terror. Okay. That doesn't go anywhere. I could keep trying to help with the cooking. Hmm. Let's have myself dealt into the card game. 250 sovereigns. A little bit pricey, but I mean, I have 11,000 sovereigns. It's fine. Your fortune gives you a 40% chance of success. The game looks complex. Ooh, success. Look at the draw. There are 214 cards compiled from a variety of decks so that though there are six aces of bats, each bears a different hue and a different function within the game. You may pair sixes, queens, and fours, but never sevens. An ace held for more than seven rounds can be exchanged for another card, but you may not choose which. The other players muddle through, seemingly as mystified as you are. The dealer is a wizened old man. He does not play, but he does arbitrate the rules with extreme vigor. You come out ahead, though you're not sure how. 214 cards. Gained 250 sovereigns. Langley Hall feels increasingly like your home away from home. So I can't do it because I must wait. I can't search for Lord Langley here because I need a cage to catch, which I need to go to the bank for. Oh, hey, uh, let's look at the map of Albion and just see how the size compares now. Hmm, yeah, it is significantly smaller. It used to be significantly bigger than the Reach, but now it seems to be the same size. 
think exactly the same size. Like if you see where my, my mouse is, that's like the the diameter or the radius of the reach. And if I go back to Albion, yeah, it seems to be the same. Let's try to help with the cooking again. Failure. That's actually giving me a lot of tear. Another uncanny specimen. Look, I'm determined to be helpful. Come on. Come on, please. <laughs> mm. Oh, hey, I think that's new. The little icon for supplies flashes red to indicate that I'm really low. Why can't I do it anymore? Oh, I need two supplies. Ah, all right, forget it. Return to the little lounge where sleep in candlelight rain. Ah, this is the place where I have to attempt to leave. Right. I could rest. This will cost you a crew member. I think this might reduce my terror, right? I should probably do that. 50%. Yeah, wow, that reduced it by 20%. But one of my crew does want to stay. A dream of a treacherous sanctuary. You curl up amidst the menagerie of cushions scattered onto this couch and lay your head to rest. The crackle of the fire lulls you into a state of half-sleep. You dream of a cellar deep beneath the building where creatures long sleeping begin to wake, gray-green and mottled like cancerous worms. They were tasked with the devouring of distance, but have been lured to sleep. In their absence, a great crime has been perpetrated on top of them. One day, one day soon, they'll wake. They'll be very hungry. You wake. One of your crew informs you they intend to remain in Langley Hall. Well, we know exactly what creatures they're talking about. The devourers of distance. Things I keep forgetting the names of. Grievers, right? Oh, um. Langley Hall is in your dreams. Each night you walk its hallways and descend its stairs. I can share my story. Oh, it just takes one sky story. I have 34. Yeah, a group of guests gather by the hearth, sharing hust Hush confessions of what their lives used to be. 70% chance of success. Damn. Misery remembered. Your recounting of your adventures in the broken kingdoms of the stars are cut short by a young gentleman who interrupts you with a flood of tears. Over the next hour you are regaled with a story of heartbreak and lamentation. His love affairs are endless and conducted only in one key... Eventually, he's overwhelmed by anguish and also wine. There's a collective sigh of relief. Not much of a loss, really. I lost a sky story and gained a tale of terror. Let's share another story. Yes. The little huddle by the fire are enraptured by her stories of daring deeds done in the cold of the wilderness, of narrow escapes in distant ports, of crew victorious and valiant, of crew defeated and done, of you persisting over all. The guests let out a sigh when you finish. You're told where you might find a barrel of hours stowed away on a hidden landing. You need time more than we do. <laughs> I probably do. Thanks. Got a barrel of unseasoned hours. Search Lord Langley's chair. Right, the postman tipped us off to that? It sits unoccupied, far from the fire. It gathers dust and curious glances. 48% chance of success. What happens if I fail this? Like, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to attempt it again. Ah, damn it. A terrible chair. <laughs> it would be best were your investigation not scrutinized. You wait for the opportune moment when enough of the guests are drowsing, wine-sodden, and languid to creep to the chair. It's a high-backed velvet horror that resembles a bat turned inside out. It creaks damnably if you so much as brush against it. 
It requires a steady hand and limitless concentration to fish around the crevices. You find coinage, crumbs, and dust. The springs are damnable, the patterns uh, patterning lamentable. Finally, your hands hook around. What's this? A map. A map directing you to the study. I failed, but I found a map? What would have happened if I succeeded? A map leading to the study on the 60th stair. <laughs> Alright, let's attempt to leave. Failure. I think I gained a bit of terror. Yeah, one tear. Have I already been to the study? Knock for admittance to the study. What do I need for that? Oh, I need affiliation with Academia 3. I only have one. I might have the officers that I could, uh, take with me to get the Academia. I'm not sure. I'll have to check later. Let's exchange another moment of inspiration for help with your map of Langley Hall. I've got five moments of inspiration. Give me some more staircase spelunking. Thank you. Did that unlock any new areas or anything? I'm not exactly entirely sure what that does. So, kitchen, done for now. Little lounge, done for now. Let's go to the yellow drawing room. There's supposed to be somebody in here that Langley knew, right? Give a speech, offer a recital, introduce them to a new game, attempt to identify Lord Langley's friend. Oh, there's a lot I can do. Oh, these all require hearts. 24%, 24%, 24%, 56% 24 for the mirrors check. Let's introduce them to a new game. How much is going to cost 100 sovereigns? Failure. The game is failure. You fail, and you lose money. A valiant defeat. It was all going so well until a re retired colonel decided to join the game. He professed innocence, but you know better. No novice would know to deploy a battalion of bishops like that. You're thoroughly trounced. The collection of your wager is swift, albeit gentlemanly. Still, you succeeded in delighting the gathering. Soon, all Langley Hall will be playing the game. Requires a ministry stamped permit. Oh, it exchanged ministry stamp permit for ministry approved literature. That is not a trade I want to do. Exchange a mode of inspiration for a gourd of Corister nectar. Also not something I want to do. Let's attempt to identify Lord Langley's friend. I think we were able to do this before we hung up our coat and hat. And I failed before. And I succeeded this time. A woman stands by herself smoking a long cigarette. Her eyes are pale yellow, a deviless. Those eyes, like drowned suns, meet yours across the room. I've heard of you, comrade. You've been asking questions. As it happens, I'm tired of waiting for answers. She opens the watch on her wrist. Inside, not cogs, but a soul, emerald and jaundiced. His, for safekeeping. No, don't look at me so. I am not, nor was ever, the type to be his lover. She sighs, perhaps regret, perhaps pity. He was waiting for someone. He told me he wouldn't remember who he was. He told me he thought he might find him in the laundry. She blows out a puff of smoke. You tell me. Perhaps it will all come out in the wash. Okay, that's a good pun. He might be in the laundry, and... Perhaps we'll all come out in the wash. <laughs> hmm. Waiting for someone, he told me he wouldn't remember who he was. I I mean, that can't help but make me think of... Uh, what was their name? The, the person who ran... Or runs? Magdalens? I forgot their name, but yeah, they didn't remember 
who they were. I tried to find out who they were and couldn't. Langley's friend holds his soul. So if they have Langley's soul, does that mean Langley doesn't have a physical body? So like, does that mean I've basically found Langley at this point? I'm not entirely sure what that really means. I need to find the laundry cupboard in Langley Hall. Let's go back to the hallway. Let's go to the solarium. Hmm, I can't make a polite conversation. Trade tea for a ministry stamp permit. Ah, oh, right, requires establishment five. In tea, of course. Let's go to the bathroom. Debauch. <laughs> uh, I need to bring a crate of nostalgia crockery. <laughs> You'll need to bring your own cups, though. They've all been smashed in here. I just came to use the bathroom, thanks. Okay, so... Laundry. How do I find the laundry? Relieve? Relieve your dreams in Langley Hall. This will cost supplies and will fully remove your unwillingness to leave. Oh. Duh, whoa. Fifteen supplies. Holy shit. They cost 40 each? So 15 times 40? That's 600 sovereigns. So I think I might have to just explore to find the laundry, I guess? Or I could try to get more stair-stepping whatever by... Uh, yeah, staircase spelunking. Another mode of inspiration. I'll give him another one. I've got four. A woman laughs when asked her name. You may call me Lord Langley, and I demand a dance of you. Ah, it looks like I found it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing the staircase spelunking thing, when I get help with the map, I'm guessing if I do that enough, it just basically is the same as doing an expedition, which probably would have a chance of finding me a new location to go to. Peek inside the upstairs laundry cupboard. It dominates the landing like your aunt at a dinner party. You can hear giggling coming from within. A find. Your exploration has borne fruit. You've found the way to the upstairs laundry cupboard, which smells of fresh linen and spilt wine. Hmm. 56. Let's just search the cupboard. Who's in here? The cupboard is vast. You'll need more than luck to get anywhere. Failure. You find yourself enveloped in a bag of upsettingly huge scarves that topples from a shelf somewhere high above you. They gather about your neck like snakes and are the very devil to untangle. There is a sudden terrible odor and the scarves loosen. A very, very intoxicated man is leaning against a shelf while his armada of giant stinking goats set to devouring your scarves. It seems wise to remain very, very still. Eventually, the last thread has disappeared into a goat, and mercifully, the horrible hell beasts retreat. The man staggers forward, embraces you, clumsily places something into your pocket, and wanders away. Oh damn, I lost a moment of inspiration. Ouch. But at least they slipped a jumble of souls into my pocket. Thanks. Goat master. Should I search again? Oh man, maybe I shouldn't have been using my moments of inspiration to find more places to go, because this removes, if you fail, removes moments of inspiration, and this just straight up costs a moment of inspiration. Oh, this one also just straight up costs a moment of inspiration. I think whether you fail it or not, both of them do. Hmm. Who is in here? Lord Langley searched the cupboard for someone. The cupboard is vast, you'll need more than luck to get anywhere. Failure again, come on. You plunge into the cupboard. How did Lord Langley accumulate so much stuff? Maps of the house, tracings of correspondence sigils, 
Barrels have spent hours in some really unpleasant paintings of clocks. Dust rises like mist in a penny dreadful. You search for a really inordinate amount of time. An unusually... An unusual standard lamp, almost like the last lamppost in miniature, stands on a sheet of paper. On the paper is a drawing of two men dancing. The lamp has been placed in such a way that it separates them. On one side is a moonlit house. On the other, with the other man, the stars. It's an effective, if unhelpful, piece. It is clearly a sign, but for someone else. You found a painting of Lord Langley and another man dancing. I think this is turning into a gay love story, which makes me like it even more. Yes, gay love story. Ah, I gained five tear. And a moment of inspiration. Hmm. Oh, I can't, I can't do that one again. Search the cupboard. Ah, fuck. That's all my inspiration. Oh, this is actually a whole different thing than the goat thing. You plunge into a cupboard and rummage through the implausible collection of hideous quilts that block your way. Eventually, you emerge, spluttering from dust, into a nook formed by a panel coming away from the wall. Inside the exposed stone crevice, you find the cook with the ocelot apron holding a Herculean jug of wine. She waggles her eyebrows and pats the stone beside her. You emerge hours later with both the empty jug and a dazed expression. <laughs> Come, have a seat. You know, it's the cook with the ocelot apron, and that's where we burned everything and just made some hideous monstrosity specimen of a food. I'd like to think that's why they were drinking. They needed to drink after that. Okay, how do I get more moments of inspiration? Okay, I just went to pretty much every room writing down anything that I might want to bring back to Langley Hall. So I want to bring back some caged catches and some crockery so that I can debauch in the bathroom. And that should allow me to do a couple things. But yeah, there's one thing where you can trade a moment of inspiration for something, but nothing where you can trade to get a moment of inspiration. So I have to get them elsewhere, and I have no idea where. I'm sure there's been somewhere where you can exchange a thing for a moment of inspiration, but I can't remember. I probably should just wait to get them naturally. There's a couple things I can try, though. Um, let me go to leave, recover my coat and hat. Time to go. The doctor guides you to your effects with admirable efficiency. I always remember where someone leaves their things. I train for medicine, but this is preferable. It requires the same attention to detail and personal attention, but involves considerably less mess. Everything in its place, nothing ever goes wrong, and it wouldn't matter much if it did. Here you are. Game getting super laggy because I have so much text built up. So let's leave where here we go. It's freezing up now. Come on. Come on. Ah. Okay. So, let's buy a bunch of supplies. I need that to do some of the things I want to do. I'll just get as many supplies as I can fit, actually. Alright, I can think of two things to do. One is see if I have enough officers to get three academia to get into the study. And the other is, now that I bought a bunch of supplies, let's use them to embark on an expedition. See if we can find any new places. 48% chance of success. Success! Emerging in light, you march your crew as quick as you're able through the long, winding passages of Langley Hall. You ably spelunk shattered stairways, crawl through secret passages in the walls, emerge blinking in candlelit bedrooms where all manner of parties are being held. The breaks for enjoyment improve morale and double your speed. Your map expands, and when you return to the hollowed hallway, you find you've supplies left over. Oh, I only lost two supplies instead of three. So did that find me anything new as it is? I don't think so. I think I have to do it multiple times, probably. Let's do another expedition. Ah, failure. 
You wander through empty hallways and disused bathrooms, bedchambers where never has a soul slept, begin to wear on the crew. They follow your example, but your pace is too much for some. Progress slows. You're first forced to turn back, lest you begin to lose men as well as morale. Still, your charts of the hall have been expanded somewhat. I feel like when this text here changes, that's when I find a new place. Let's do it again. Ah, oh, failure. At least you still get some success, even with failure. So, same thing as last time. Success. It's still the same text down here. Yeah, nothing new. Okay, let me go buy some more supplies. So I checked my officers, and I don't have any combination of them that will give me more than two uh, academia. So can't do that, which means the only thing I can do here right now is more expeditions. Ooh, two successes in a row. Lucky. I'm feeling like I'm not going to find any more places. Three successes in a row. Wow. Yeah, still the same text. Another success. Damn. Yeah, still the same. Let's go back to the hallway. Just check. I'm pretty sure nothing new appeared. Yep. No new places. Alright, it's time to leave Langley Hall. Let me make my way back to Pan. And we'll go through a little tiny unexplored batch right here. Before I go back to the explored parts. I love all these kind of like almost like nests not really because they don't seem to have bottoms but like spirals of, of well they're so big they're not really twigs spirals of wood I guess oh what the hell is that oh Sweeping my light back and forth so I can hopefully reveal it. Oh, shit. Damn it. Back up! Shit! Oh. I heard my terror as well as my health. Nope, shit. Okay, thank god I killed it. Wow, my health is terrible. Oh. Yeah, uh, 50% terror. I'm definitely gonna burn the remains. Spend fuel to reduce terror and gain a tail of terror. Reduced it by 15%. Whew. So was there Clotted Knight around here? Because it seemed like the other one came out of the thing of Clotted Knight. Oh god, there's something else over there. Started to aggro. I, <laughs> I don't care what it is. I'm, I'm going back. I'm way too vulnerable right now. Oh yeah, that must be the Clotted Knight, right? The one that it came out of? 
Hopefully it's not another one. Do the things of Clotted Knight disappear when you kill the Undeparted? Like, I think the other one did. The one that was, like, right here? If that one's still there, then maybe that means it is an entirely different one. Got a grave over here. Hmm. Don't want to fight it. No. Ah, fuck. It's going to be a little bit hard to avoid, though. They're, they're pretty fast. Oh, that's not one of the uh, Liberation of Night people, because they had their lights on. I don't know what they were. Okay, well, I think we're good now. I'll see you back at Pan. In Pan, it's the hour of leaving, when thoughts turn to far-off places. Recruiting crew at Pan is temporarily more effective. Oh, good. I only need one person, so probably wouldn't matter anyway. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I think we're going to do some more exploring.